Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hi, and welcome to the Thursday Texas Fly Fishing Report. It is April 2nd, 2015, and I've only got one question for you. Why are you watching this? Spring has sprung in Texas. It's time to fish. I'm going to take you north, south, east, and west in Texas fly fishing today. Um, even though I don't get to go to all these places, north, south, east, and west, I'm pretty well tuned in to what's going on. Right now, it's pretty windy here, so you'll hear uh, my sorted wind chimes and things going on. We've been battling wind here in north Texas, and um, storms coming through, typical spring pattern of storms that can be pop up out of nowhere and be pretty severe. Uh, there's no high pressure over over DFW in North Texas, so those storms are passing through at will right now. Um, you know, I've, we can go west, but uh, there's not a lot going on out west. Still in drought conditions. You know, that bullseye of the drought is still over North Texas, so it's it's pretty tough fishing. Water levels are, you know, I'm kind of adjusting to those with my uh, guiding service and guiding for carp, and uh, it's it's really a challenge to find new places when everything changes so much but that's what we're all about when it comes to fly fishing is adapting to change so that's that's north and that's west east texas a veritable plethora of great places to fly fish all the lakes are really doing well pretty much all the lakes east not northeast but east and uh, we've got plenty of reports of uh, catching bass on fly on Lake Fork, for example, on the beds. Um, whether or not you know that's your thing, that's definitely something that's going on right now. I'm catching bass here in North Texas in the coves and in you know out in the flats, um, and that is part of the spring pattern here in North Texas is catching bass on the fly, and they are definitely feeding right now. I, uh, you'll have to, you know, if you look at the Instagram um, feed, that's where you'll find the most current things going on with just straight up still photos on, on the fishing that's going on. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing how well the bass are doing. We had a new, new record on Lake Ray Roberts, which is the nearest lake I fly fish, and I fly fish that and guide on that all the time. So uh, that has a new lake record for largemouth bass at 15.18, I think. Big bass. So. Now the tournaments are starting up and that lake is overrun with people because of that big bass catch. So, And there are more big bass being caught on Lake Ray Roberts for whatever reason. As we head south, we hit uh, you know central Texas and Austin area. And I've got an eye on Alvin Dito and I always have had an eye on him and his uh, all water guide services. Those guys are all over the map down there and they'll take you into some fly fishing that is kind of uh, edgy, I would say. Kind of like the stuff we do here and I do. Um, you can go out with Alvin on his boat. I believe he's got a Hog Island skiff and uh, make a day out of uh, fly fishing for bass on on the Colorado River or any other number of things that Alvin does. He's, he's a good guy and I don't know the other guys as well as I know Alvin, but uh, that's somebody you definitely want to uh, connect with in the Central Texas, Austin area, Hill Country. Uh, there's plenty of more, you know, Austin is the epicenter of fly fishing in Texas. We're I'm about 240, 50 miles removed from that, so it's a huge state and that's one of the things about, I might be in Texas, but I'm sure not in Austin or in Houston. When you go east, you think of Houston, you know, all the, the creeks have produced as you've seen in the past and now the, the process of production for catching fish on the fly in, in the creeks changes from the sand bass run to crappie. So crappie on fly is, is quite doable, it's quite enjoyable and of course if you're into eating fish then it's hard to beat crappie as far as the fish that you want to eat. Um, and that's what we're headed on to right now. We ought to be into some crappie here in the next couple of weeks in the creeks. And uh, that's not something that I do very much, but I might go out and take a look and see if I can actually find them. They're usually stacked up nice and tight, so you can hit a whole creek and there won't be in one spot that may be as big as this front part of this bar right here. So it's, it's really um, challenging to find those fish wherever they might be holding and stacking up. 
Now we're going to go on down south, and I, I got a really good email uh, newsletter from a guy named Ben, and I think the last name is Paschal, Pas it might be Pascal, P-A-S-C-H-A-L, and he's got the LagunaMadreOutfitters.com, and I'm going to run that right along the bottom here, www.LagunaMadreOutfitters.com. And what I liked about his newsletter was it had a lot of information. It had a lot of photographs showing the kind of fish you can catch down there. That's my home water. That's where I grew up. That's where I fished as a kid. And so I know a little bit about down there. And it's really just blossomed in this, in this wonderful location. And it's Lower Laguna Madre, South Padre Island area. And the things he talks about in his newsletter are things I've experienced. So that's a guy you might want to check in with. He actually publishes the dates that he's available or booked. I'm not really sure which is booked or available, but anyway. Um, that's a guy that I'd really like to meet and fish with, but that's, you know, down in South Texas, which is 560 miles from here, so that's a long ways off. Um, that takes you north, south, east, and west. If you uh, have any questions, let me know. This is really a quick synopsis today. There's a lot of fishing to be done. It is spring. One of the things you want to do is definitely make sure that you... Uh, you watch out for storms that might pop up. We've had winds here in excess of 50 miles an hour and a drop of a hat. It just comes out of nowhere. So you've got to be careful if you're out on the lake or on the water. But otherwise, uh, it's time. And these kind of windy days like this are great days to get down and explore these creeks and these, these low river areas and things like that where they're, they're, they're lined with trees and there's no wind to bother you down in there. Um, there's going to be more coming up. I've got a the story that just ran actually earlier a couple of days ago on Lake Buchanan. That's a lake that's really suffering badly. It's way low, but a friend of mine, Manuel Salas, is catching carp there. So that's something you want to read. It's a past post, future post coming on uh, fly fishing for sand bass here. It's almost over if it's not over already. But I'm going to go ahead and run that post just so it'll be there for future reference of people who want to read that in the future. But that's really close by and an easy thing to get to. They're now being buzzed by all kinds of bees and things. But anyway, that's what's going on. If you have any questions or you guys have any um, spots that you know about, feel free to contact me and add to it. Send me links to your YouTube uh, videos if you have those. And of course, um, feel, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, I've got so many ways that you can keep in touch and keep your eye on, on what's going on currently here, of course locally in North Texas, but when you send me your photos, still photographs, those are definitely of fish, you and fish or fishing, uh, or anything you want actually, you know, this halfway decent. Um, I'll run that on my Instagram, which appears on the left hand side of www.texasflycaster.com. Have a great weekend, this should be a good weekend to go fishing. Looks like it's going to be good across the vast majority of the state. And so let me know next week how you did. And if you have any questions, be sure and contact me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks also goes out to the sponsors. If you need more information, be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And if you have any information about fly fishing in Texas, feel free to share it. And we'll be glad to get it on the report.